What's up everybody, I'm Matt Brody, and this is Simply Must Go, and this is also not my original intro to this video. Today I was supposed to be working on Project Emo and doing a bunch of stuff, and what ended up happening was, for a lot of reasons that we'll get into in a little bit, I got really hung up on trying to get my dash lights fixed. So when I bought this Jeep, the dash lights did not work. And through a bunch of stuff, I ended up figuring out not only what was wrong, but also how to fix it. And that's what this video ended up being about. I uh, originally thought that was gonna be a very small piece of this video, and then we'd move on to a bunch of other projects. So if you are looking at changing your dash lights in your Jeep YJ, particularly to LEDs, you're gonna wanna stay tuned because there's a lot of little things that I found as I was doing this that you'll want to know. So anyway, uh, I hope this video doesn't get too discombobulated, too confusing for you. It takes place over the course of a couple of weeks as I was trying to get this all done. So bear with me a little bit, but at the end, you'll have all the info that I learned the hard way. So come along and let's get into it. In my last video, linked here, I walked through taking apart the dash and removing the gauge cluster. What you really need to know here is that each bulb has its own socket, and I was apparently missing two sockets and bulbs, and you can simply quarter twist them to remove them. I ended up replacing mine with new sockets and using LED bulbs instead, both of which are linked in the description below. Today we'll begin by removing the light switch and the dimmer switch. Step one of removing the dimmer switch is going to be removing that whole panel from the dash frame, and it's just three screws, so that should be pretty easy. This was pretty gross. I'm gonna change the light switch first, and I'm just gonna remove this screw. Just a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the old one and the new one. You can see just how dirty and corroded the old contacts are versus the new one, so I am pretty happy that we're making this switch. All right, let's do the dimmer switch now. Well, this is sort of a bummer. So the switches themselves are identical, except for that the new one does not have this sort of mounting plate or bracket to mount this mounting plate. I don't know if I ordered the wrong one or if I ordered the right one and they sent me the wrong one and that's why this is the gray one and it's just not the right one anyway. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of looking, but my guess is I'm going to the store to get another switch. All right, boys and girls, have a seat because it is now story time at Simply Must Go. Down the street from me, I've got an AutoZone and O'Reilly's and an advanced auto parts, and they're all, all three of them are literally next to each other. And the first one I went to, the guy was actually really knowledgeable. I showed him the original dimmer switch, and he started looking it up, and, and he, he couldn't find it. Uh, it just wouldn't pull up in their system normally. And so finally he had to do like a Google search for it, and, and he finally found it, only to find out they didn't have any and that it was gonna be like a week or something to order it before it came in, and so that was kind of a bummer, but he wrote down another store's product number for me so I could take it over. And so I went to another store, I handed, I, I said, here's the, the dimmer switch, I'm looking for a dimmer switch for a 1993 Jeep Wrangler, and they pull it up, and all the stores were pulling up the same thing, they were all pulling up the headlight switch and not the dimmer switch, and they, or it was pulling up some other kind of switch that was not the right thing and they're like here it is and I had called and like do you have it? And they're like yeah and of course they're looking at the wrong switches so anyway so all of this back and forth and they're like this is the right thing he's he's literally holding the dimmer switch from this and he's looking at a picture online of this and he's like that's the same thing I'm like no it's not that's the headlight switch this is the dimmer switch they're not the, just look at them they're not the same so after a while, I finally convinced him that this, this was the right thing and, and what he was looking at was wrong. Of course, once they finally found the right part, they didn't have it either. Uh, and then so I could order it, but then it was gonna be a hundred bucks to order it and have it in a week. And I was like, are you kidding me? A hundred, that's insane. So then I went to the third place, which had sort of the same issues, but I'm, I was getting used to these issues now. So finally found it. And they had one, uh, they did not have any in stock, but they did have one that I could order for like 40 bucks. 
And they also had a $100 one. I don't know. Anyway, so now I gotta wait another couple of days for the new one to come in so I can finish this stinking project. And isn't that just the way all of these projects go? You start, find out something's messed up, and it delays the whole thing. While I was waiting for the new part to arrive, I decided to go ahead and replace the headlight switch. And just a quick test to confirm it works. Well, at least that win was easy. One eternity later. Let me apologize real quick for how disjointed this video is, but I promise it's worth it because I figured out all the answers, but it took a while to get there and not all of it was filmed. So I tried to get the dimmer switch. I ordered the wrong one. I had to go back, order another one. It came later than I thought. So this is like a week after the last time I've been filming. And so I real quick, I was just like, all right, let me just check the dimmer switch, make sure it works. I, I hooked up the dimmer switch, I screwed it in, I plugged it in, turned it on, nothing happened. And I was like, dang, I can't believe the dimmer switch wasn't the fix. I really thought that was gonna be the issue. So then I was like, all right, well, what else could it be? And I started thinking, I started dawning me, maybe, maybe it's the fuse, maybe the fuse blew. And so I started, I decided since I had a whole bunch of extra fuges, I was just gonna replace every fuse uh, in the, the fuse box underneath the dash. So I started pulling fuses and looking at them and none of them were blown and I was a little confused. And then I was like, well, let me see where the actual like fuse for this particular dimmer area is. And there's a couple ones that I thought it might be and then I figured out which one it actually was. Well, it turns out there was no fuse there. It was just open. The fuse had been taken out. So the reason the dash lights didn't work was because the fuse was missing and that was my issue all along. So I put in a fuse and I turned it on and lo and behold, half the lights worked. And I was really confused. And so what I realized then, and, and I talked to, I got a message actually from my buddy Dan at Flawed Off Road who has an awesome YouTube channel where he does a lot of custom fab stuff for his Jeep YJ. I will link to Dan's channel here because dude's awesome. And I, I, Dan, I'm sure you're gonna watch this, but your answer totally saved me here. So the other issue that was going on, so besides the fuse being blown, besides the dimmer switch being bad, was I'd gotten LED lights. Now these are just Oxbeam amber LED lights that I got off of Amazon. Well, Dan sent me a message and said, hey, just so you know, when you're doing LEDs, there's a polarity and they have to be turned the right way. And there is zero indication on these and on anything in there which direction that is. So when half of them lit up, it was because half of them were turned the right way, the other half were not. So it was a little bit of trial and error getting everything to work, but that was the answer, was kind of a combination of all those things. Dimmer switch probably wasn't bad, but it definitely needed replaced. It was ugly and old and beat up. So it looks a lot nicer now having replaced both those switches. But the two issues were one, you need a fuse. And if you're gonna install LEDs, there's a polarity to them. So you've gotta have everything oriented in the right way, but it's kind of trial and error to get there because I couldn't figure out exactly any indications of what the right way was. So it was plug it in, see if it worked, spin it, etc. So I've done all of the dash cluster where like the fuel gauge is and the, the oil pressure sensor and all that stuff, uh, that all works. By the way, when I tested everything to see if this worked, the oil pressure sensor worked. So in the last video, we replaced the oil sending unit. Uh, and so that did in fact fix this gauge. So that all works properly now. That's awesome. The dash lights work. Unfortunately, these are so much brighter and better than the, um, I guess the, the stock and lights, whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to replace the lights now in the, uh, the RPM and the miles per hour, uh, gauges so that they're just as bright and they match. So they look good. Cause it just, now it looks bad having some really dim and ugly and some really bright and crisp. Uh, so I'm going to replace those now and I'll have to do the same sort of trial and error with these. So you can kind of follow along with that, but that is where we stand. 
that was what my issues were. If you were screaming at the computer the whole time I'm doing this, yelling at YouTube for me to check the freaking fuses, you were right. I don't know why I didn't bother to check that first. So here's my other tip. Something doesn't work, check the fuse first and then start working your way from there. I, I just assumed it was the dimmer switch and that the fuses would be fine. I don't know why. Don't know why, newbie mistake, totally not something I'll do again. I'm gonna check fuses first next time. But anyway, let me go install these and I'll show you, I'll show you the finished product because I'm, I'm, it's so good. Just a few screws in the gauge cluster came right out, mostly. It was pretty dirty, so like the other parts, I decided to clean it first. Then I removed each socket and replaced it with a new socket and LED bulb. Getting the electrical plug reconnected in the back was kind of a pain. There isn't much play in the cables, and so you're fighting with space and you're working blind. Eventually I got it all back together and I got the bulbs in the right orientation. All right, as you can see, I've got all the lights changed now and figured out I did have to I was lucky because this side's a pain in the butt because that's the side that you have to click the um, the plug into and it's really hard to get in there. I could, it took me a while to get it unplugged and plugged just because of the way it was, but this side will swing out. So I was glad that this one worked first. This one I could just swing out and replace while it was still there. So everything now works. I'm super excited because that means I can start putting the whole dash back together and this phase is done. <laughs> and you know, it just dawned on me. I really hope I remember how to put this whole thing back together now. It's a good thing I've got Sue over here as a, as a guide in case I forget. I think, I think I know where everything's gonna go and which screws go where, but we'll find out. I got the dash back together, minus the radio and glove box. That's another video. Once it was all buttoned up, it was time to really check out how well these new lights worked. All right, guys, if you hung with me till this point, I really appreciate it. You were probably yelling at your computers and, and YouTube to for me to do certain things that I had not done yet. But anyway, thank you so much. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, because I would love to have you part of the Simply Must Go family. Come along on our other Jeep adventures. Help me out with uh, Project Emo here, because quite frankly, I still have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just learning as I'm going, figuring it out, because ultimately, mistakes make the best teachers, right? So anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys being here. God bless, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.